Hi everyone, it's Danielle Greaves, journalist at the Escort and Midlands News. This morning, afternoon, we are here at the Escort Town Hall um, where the South African National Blood Service is actually hosting their monthly blood donor clinic. So, tomorrow is World Blood Donor Day and we have a special someone to tell us more about this um, from SANBS. Hi Sam, can Hi. you introduce yourself yes, to everyone? So I'm Sam Kele Duma, the donor recruiter from Maritzburg, the Midlands branch. And today we are at um, the Esco Town Hall. Yes, the Esco Town Hall for uh, Blood Donation Day. And tomorrow we are celebrating the World Donor Day, whereby we are thanking all the donors, we are showing appreciation, commemorating mm -hmm. donors especially mm -hmm. the millions of donors that donate mm -hmm. without wanting to receive anything and they make it a point to at least donate mm -hmm. four times a year Lovely. at the least yes so guys um we're gonna ask sam to tell us what you people at home can do to mark this day tomorrow so sam what can um local blood donors and even everyone watching who's willing to donate do tomorrow and what qualifies them to, to donate. Yes. All right. Okay, guys. It's the usual. A leader, a safe lifestyle must be the between the ages of 16 and 75 now, especially to be a first-time donor. And also weigh more than 50 kgs. Um, come through and donate. We have donor centers okay. in different areas of KZN in South Africa. SNBS is nationwide except for the Western mm -hmm. Cape. So please google us www.sanbs.org.za you'll find a donor center near you if um, maybe you don't know any donor center you can also call if you can't call just do something it, it really get does there. help get there tomorrow we will be in different areas and we are offering free gifts just to say thank you to the donors nice. yes we'll be at Medi Clinic. <laughs> in um, Hilton will be at Liberty Mall as well in Pizza Maritzburg okay. so guys please come through and donate it, it it really does help you can save up to three lives with just a half a liter of your blood mm -hmm. you save up to three lives so That's please so come through and donate right now I'll take you through the process of donating it only takes 20 minutes of your time and um, by the way before coming in donate within the last four hours you must have had a meal thank you okay. come through Guys, before we leave with Sam, who just gave us a talk now um, behind us, we'll be entering. Um, if you are around Escort today, get down here at the Escort Hall, um, Town Hall. It's in Victoria Street and make sure that you roll up your sleeves in this cold weather and um, donate a pint of blood. It could save lives. So we are now going with Sam and to see the process. Okay, Where guys. do you want to start? We'll start with um, filling in of the form, guys, okay? These are the stations where you fill in a form. It's a very quick form. It takes about five to seven minutes to fill it in. And then from filling in, it's just your yes, no, sticking your yes, no, your personal information if it's your first time. If you've donated before, you only fill in the middle section, which is just yeses and nos, and there are time frames to everything. No flu, guys. No antibiotics in the past seven days. And then from filling in the form, you go through to there. It's called the clocking where we clock your information, we clock everything of yours. If it's your second donation, you get a key ring of which it will tell you about what blood type you are. And if it's your fifth, you get a brooch. You get lovely stuff for donations, for donating. And then from there, you go through to be assessed. At, by those tents, that's where you assess by registered nurses. And when you're being assessed there, they check for your iron, they check for your BP. And if your iron is below 12, um, you are not bled if you're a female. If your iron is above, then you are bled. Um, if your iron is, above, is below 12.5, you are not bled as a male, because that means you only have enough blood for yourself. So from there, we take you to the chairs, and that's where you bled. The chairs right there, We've got phlebotomists, they are 
very skilled and nothing wrong will happen hopefully and everything just goes well plus minus nine to ten minutes of bleeding you half a liter of blood and from that half a liter as you know by now we save up to three lives so guys come through and donate thank you guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much to our guests for walking us through the process until next time from us bye bye, bye.